Welcome back to the show. My name is Evan. Michael J. Babcock is here. What's up? Renee Montgomery is here. Hello, hello there. And this is a video of a giant alligator on a golf course eating somebody's <laughs> golf ball. Um, and the reason we're showing you this is because, number one, it's scary as hell. And number two, I want to know what happens when this happens to you guys. If an alligator ate your golf ball on the course and you're out with your buddies and then he opens his mouth like this and is teasing you and taunting you and trying to bait you to go in there and get it back. Yeah. Do you, what do you do? Is it worth saving the ball or you just say, I ain't going What? Chubs? Well, you know, the rule is you got to play it where it lies. Adam. Yeah. So I think by the letter of the law, as far as golf is concerned, you got to go hit it out of the alligator's mouth. No way, Babcock. <laughs> no way. Babcock, tell me what happened here. What, how did, what, is, what is going on in this video? So there was just some ordinary dudes who were golfing at a golf course in, this won't be a surprise to you because they have a lot of alligators, in Louisiana <laughs> earlier this week. And uh, they told me they literally, they hit the golf ball, they, they drove it, they walked down, uh, they approached their ball, and then the alligator uh, runs out of the pond and goes and just eats the golf ball. And then, as you see on our video, is just taunting the golfers <laughs> uh, like by opening his mouth and the golf ball is just sitting right there. Ultimately, he swallowed the golf ball is what the golfers told me. Oh so scary. Here, here, here's some sound up so you can hear the discussion that was going on while this was playing out. Oh, <laughs> it's going down the no way, give me my ball. Where, 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 where? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, not, a, not so much a discussion, more of just like a shock and awe, I guess. What? Um, Why is it's over? What are you talking about? Give me my ball. I'm done, and I may not go back there. Is no one else concerned? Like I'm, we're happy. I'm happy he didn't eat me, yeah, but I'm not going it. nowhere near that. That you know, so that's a concern that I have that I, I've wanted to ask golfers, especially in Louisiana, where we see this a lot. Like, if there are known alligators where you golf, don't you just golf? somewhere else instead like like I, like golf is not supposed like to be that's a his golf sport. course that is that alligator's golf course and that's, that's why right. he was playing with them look at that uh-uh no 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 he's like come get it if you want it like nah i'm good right. i'm good See, there's a story that went around this morning about an alligator who bit a guy's arm off there was like yeah. a manhunt or a gator hunt for this particular alligator that bit somebody's arm off uh somewhere that can happen I mean, this isn't, this isn't like a duck at a pond where maybe it like quacks at you and runs off. Like this thing can kill you. <laughs> and I, you know, if, if I saw an alligator on a golf course, I'd be like, oh, that's cool. But we need to get the hell out of here. I guess that's growing up in Louisiana. Yeah. I grew up in, in Los Angeles, so I got a completely different, <laughs> my, my, my freak meter is much different than theirs, I guess. Give me my ball.